In many YouTube videos, they are telling you do this exercise to improve your speed. Yeah, those exercises might be good, but come on, bro. It's super important to know when you are doing these exercises. And today I will tell you a few exercises which you should do when you are training your start and acceleration phase. I divide running in three different phases. Start and acceleration phase, top speed and end speed. I'm not sure if this is right term, but anyway, you get the point. Usually in early training season, you should train start and acceleration phase. And in previous video, I was telling you about something about uh, technical part of uh, acceleration phase. But of course, you need to do supporting exercises, which are gym exercises and plyos. First, we need to understand a couple of basic things, which is different between acceleration and top speed. When you are in blocks, your front foot's knee angle is around 90 degrees and other legs in the angle is around 120 degrees. And when you take your first steps from blocks, your legs come to the ground around 100 degrees angles and you need to push your legs almost straight. And that means your contact times are much higher in acceleration than top speed. And these are things what you need to know when you choose your gym exercises and plyos. But now I will tell you three good exercises to support your acceleration phase. Deep squat is great exercise because when you do this uh, exercise to 90 degrees, it's almost uh, same than your running angles when you jump off the blocks. And of course, in early training season, you should do exercises with long muscle length because it prevents injuries. Okay, second gym exercise is hip thrust. That's great exercise for glutes. And you can do this exercise with both legs or just with single leg. And that's how I do it. It balances your uh, muscle mass between your both legs. Third gym exercise is heavy sled push. With this exercise, you learn to produce your force on the right direction and the right weight is about your body weight. And one extra exercise is Nordic hamstring and that's a great exercise for a hamstring because you need to do eccentric workouts if you don't want hamstring injuries. And now we jump to the plyos. In my opinion, best plyos to support acceleration phase are a single leg bound, double leg bound and speed bounds. In these plyos, your cramp contact is around same than your acceleration phase, but in speed bounds is a little bit faster. That's my boy Kevin Charleston here and he is 2023 US 100 meter champion. He ran his PR in same competition with me and if you like to watch it, click over there. Thanks for watching and remember subscribe to the channel because I will do more videos like this and hit that like button and as usually we see on next Sunday. Bye.